Hello and welcome to another quick tech tip with the Bearded Tech Guy. In this video, we'll be going over how to integrate Home Assistant and the Bond Bridge together so that Home Assistant can control devices configured through the Bond Bridge over your local network. We'll also be going over a home automation I have set up that takes advantage of my Bond Bridge and allows me to have smart ceiling fans without having to run any extra wiring or buy new fans. For those that aren't familiar with the Bond Bridge, it is an RF bridge that allows you to take ceiling fans, AC units, and several other devices that normally use an RF remote and turn them into smart devices. I personally use mine to control four ceiling fans and even an LED light strip that I have on the back of my computer monitor. Take note that this integration does require your Bond Bridge to be running firmware 2.10 or later. This integration will work with the Bond Bridge version 1, Bond Bridge version 2, Bond Bridge Pro, and the Smart by Bond fans. And what's great about this integration is that it's completely local, allowing Home Assistant to communicate directly with your Bond Bridge over your local network and not over the internet. To get started, navigate to Integrations and Devices under Settings. If Home Assistant has already detected your Bond Bridge, you should see it here under Discovered. If it is, you can click on Configure. If it's not, click on the Add Integration button at the bottom of the page, search for Bond, and select it. Either way, if a Bond device has already been discovered on your network, it should show up under Discovered, and you can click on it. Otherwise, you'll have to manually add the device in. Selecting an already discovered device will prompt you for its access token. To find this, go into the Bond app on your mobile device and select your Bond bridge. Next, click on Advanced to expand it. Finally, the string under Local Token is what you need for Home Assistant. In Android, clicking on it will copy it to your clipboard. Once you have your access token, go back to Home Assistant, enter it into the field, and click on Submit. You should then see a success pop-up indicating your Bond device was added into Home Assistant and allowing for you to assign it to an area. Refreshing the page, we can see all the devices attached to my Bond Bridge have been brought over into Home Assistant. We can click on it to get a complete list of devices, which from here you can click on and interact with it like with any other Home Assistant device including editing their names and turning them on or off. Let's now take a look at how I use this integration in Home Assistant with a smart light switch to turn my boring old remote-controlled fan into a smart fan without having to buy a new fan. In my bedroom, I have a ceiling fan with a light that can be controlled by a pull string or a remote control, and is hardwired in. The fan has been added into my Bond Bridge. I also had a light switch that was attached to an outlet nearby meant to control a lamp. So what I did was bypass the switch for the outlet and wire a smart switch in place of the old switch. With how I have things currently, the switch itself is not wired to the fan. Both the fan and the switch are hardwired separately. When the switch is turned on, the ceiling fan light turns on. And when the light switch is turned off, the ceiling fan light is turned off. When the switch is double pressed up, the ceiling fan is turned on. And when the switch is double pressed down, the ceiling fan is turned off. Let's take a look how I have this set up in Home Assistant. Within the automation rule, I have several different triggers, each with their own unique trigger ID. The first two are for if the light switch in my bedroom is turned on or off. The second two are for if the light switch is double pressed either up or down. And the last two triggers are for if the ceiling fan light is turned on or off. Under actions, I have six different if then blocks. The first two action if blocks control the ceiling light being turned on or off. When the trigger ID, bedroom light switch on is detected, the ceiling light is turned on. Likewise, when the trigger ID, bedroom light switch off is detected, the light is turned off. The next two action if blocks are for controlling the fan. When the trigger ID, bedroom fan on is detected, the ceiling fan is turned on. Likewise, when the trigger ID, bedroom fan off is detected, the fan is turned off. The last two action if blocks are meant to handle if the ceiling light is turned on via the Bond app or my voice assistant. Turn on the light. Without them, if the light is turned on, the light switch would not be turned on, which would cause a mismatched state, which means I couldn't use the light switch to turn the light off. To get around this issue, we want to turn the light switch on when the fan light is turned on, and turn off the light switch when the ceiling fan light is turned off. The first if then block will be evaluated as true if the trigger ID is bedroom fan light on and the bedroom light switch is currently off. If both conditions are true, then the light switch will be turned on. The last if block will do the opposite. If the trigger ID is bedroom fan light off and the bedroom light switch is currently on, the light switch will be turned off. 
If you have any suggestions on how to make this automation better, or if you have any other automation ideas for integrating Bond Bridge with Home Assistant, make sure to share them with the community in the comments below. And if you found this video helpful, make sure to give it a thumbs up so that YouTube knows that you should share it with others. Thank you for watching, and as always, happy automating.